Okay, today I want to talk about the three object methods, seal, freeze, and prevent extensions. These three methods are ways that you can sort of create an object and then protect it, prevent any future changes to the object. But each one of them has their own differences. Now, what I've done is I've set up some code, a couple of objects that we can use as examples when working with seal and freeze and prevent extensions. So parent object has one property, one method, and this is going to be used as the prototype. We've got our object here, obj, that we're creating. We're going to use parent obj as its prototype, and we're creating a property called prop2 directly on this. So we've got obj that has a property called prop2. It has a value of the string, I am prop2. Now, obj has a prototype, which is parent object. It contains prop1 and some method. We can, if we want, write obj.prop2, obj.prop1, or obj.sum method. All three of those are going to work because parent obj is being used as the prototype. So it's linked directly to obj. Now, if you wanted to add another method directly onto obj, you could do it just simply like this. We could say obj.inner method. So now obj has a property and a method, and its prototype has a property and a method. The alternative way of adding a property, you can use define property to add something else directly onto obj. So obj now has prop2, prop3, and a method, inner method. And those are all directly on this object that we created here, obj. Now I've got another blank one here, other proto, just to demonstrate what would happen if we wanted to change the prototype and say, okay, obj, you're no longer using the parent object as your prototype. You're now going to use this empty thing as your prototype. Okay, so the three methods, seal, freeze, prevent extensions. After calling each of these methods, there's effects that can be seen across these different changes. So if you're adding a brand new property onto the object, if you call seal, you can't do that. If you call freeze, you can't do that. If you call prevent extensions, you can't do that. So any of these will stop you from adding a new property. So let's take a look at that one first of all. We're going to say, well, we'll just uncomment this line right here, object seal. And then what we'll do is we will try to, well, here, I'll open up my terminal. And if I run it, you can see nothing's happening, no errors. Now, if I try to change obj after I've sealed it, I'm going to create a new property called prop4 equals true. Okay, so I'm trying to directly make a change to obj by adding a new property onto it. If I run this, there we go. We get an error. Cannot add property prop4. Object is not extensible. So that's what seal will do. And if we change it to freeze, same thing, we get the same error. You can't do it, it's not extensible. And if we do it with prevent extensions, same thing, it will throw an error again. We're not allowed to do that. Okay, so that's adding a new property. Editing a property value, if you do seal or prevent extensions, you can still change the value of an existing property. So we have up here, we've got prop3, which is a boolean. We have prop2, which is a string. So let's change prop2. We'll come in here, we'll say obj.prop2 equals new string value. All right, now we've called prevent extensions. So we should be allowed to change that value. Console.log obj.prop2, save it. There this and run it again, and it works. Not a problem. So with editing a prop value, we can do that if we've sealed it or called prevent extensions. If we call freeze, then this is going to fail. There it is. So we cannot change the value of any property. Deleting a property, seal and freeze, you can't do that, but we can still delete a property if we've called prevent extensions. So let's do the one example of that working here. So I'm just going to comment those lines out 
and inside here I will call delete obj dot prop three. So we'll try that. And this should allow us. And it did. Okay. Come back up here. Comment that out. Just try it one time with freeze. And there's the crash. Changing descriptors. Now, if you haven't worked with descriptors much, this is what they are. The descriptors are descriptors or properties about your properties. So here we have our object and we're creating a brand new property called prop three. And this is the information about prop three. It's got a value. What is the default value of this property? Configurable. Can I change these settings? That's what configurable means. Writable. Can I change the value? Am I allowed to change this from true to false? Enumerable. When I do a loop or a for in loop, am I going to see this property or is it kind of a, a hidden behind the scenes property? That's what these property descriptors are. So are we allowed to change those? With prevent extensions, yes. With seal and freeze, no. Reassigning the proto or the prototype. Well, the double underscore proto double underscore. This is a non-standard property that was added a long time ago, and it was a way of getting from an object up to its prototype. Okay, let me um, comment this out again. So if we have here obj dot underscore underscore proto underscore underscore that is the same thing as doing this object get prototype of obj both of these right now are going to point to this parent object right here it's just two different ways of writing the same thing except that this is non-standard and this was added in uh, i believe it was es5 as the proper way of getting to the prototype of an object so if we console log this out just to see it console log object dot get prototype of obj clear that run it again there we go so we see prop one and some method that is the object which is the prototype of obj now reassigning the prototype when you so this is the getting way if you want to set a new prototype in theory you can do this equals and then we've got that new object other proto that we're going to use like that we can do that but that is the old non-standard way the suggested way to do it now is with object set prototype of and then uh, obj is what we're changing and what's its new prototype going to be it's this other proto just like that so now if I run this again I should get the other proto as my console log statement there it is that empty object right here this is now the new prototype of it and back to our table we cannot do this if we've called any of these methods so we'll just try one of them we'll do a seal save and I try to run this and there's the error you are not allowed object is not extensible we are not allowed to change the prototype after we have called any of these three methods seal freeze or prevent extensions all right so hopefully that makes sense to you um, those are three methods that once you get into designing your own objects and creating your own prototype chains and links uh, these are going to be much more valuable to you so if you, like i said if you have any questions feel free to leave those in the comments down below a uh, link to this starter code just is down in the description and as always thanks for watching